What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so this is the most random video I've ever done. It's 10.05 and I am literally probably about to eat dinner in a minute. But I just had this random idea to just make this video. So what I will be doing right now tonight, I will be retwisting my hair and Because like, look at these roots, honey. They were free forming at this point. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a minute, then you know that I do not use gel anymore. I wanna just start using water, but I'm really scared to do that. But today we're just gonna use what I usually use all the time. And we're just gonna be using Jamaican black castor oil. And what I have in my spray bottle is majority aloe vera juice and then the rest just water. Also, I wanted to like talk about a couple things. It might get a little, you know, dark, but you know, we're living in dark times, so we need to address a lot of issues. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a lock and talk video, lock, lock and chat, you know what I'm saying? It's retwist and chat. I think I'm gonna start doing those, but let's just get into this chat. <laughs> went to one of them it was police regulated so it was very safe um but i went to one of those and it felt like so empowering just to be there you know speaking on speaking together being like you know together we on this one topic but um on to ways to help the whole black lives matter movement i have the links for everything that you need to do down below the petitions to sign i've signed over 50 petitions probably probably more than that roughly 70 i've signed so many because it's very they make it very easy for you to do that once you sign up once all you have to do is they'll start doing one click sign petitions and stuff and boom within a minute you'll have like 10 petitions already signed so i'm just saying it's that easy love let me tell y'all about this encounter that i had at my job i work at pizza hut this one dude coming to pizza hut and he's like, I have him on a mask, obviously. And I take his order and then he comes back waiting on his pizza. And he's like telling me if people aren't close to me, then I'll need to wear my mask. First of all, I'm like, first of all, for you love, you're not my dad, you can't tell me what to do. And I didn't say that obviously because I'm a good, I'm a good employee. I was like, right. I just said right to whatever he was saying. I was like, okay. Yeah, and then as he's saying that, I don't need to have my mask on because no one's near me. Okay, driver, one of my drivers, goes next to my register to get ready to go in his delivery. So you see why I need it, right, love? Since, you know, you see why I need it because he's right next to me. Literally, I can probably smell his breath if I were to take my mask off. You look dumb, you sound dumb. Clearly he hadn't done his research because his airborne loves in the air we breathe, probably as I speak. So yeah, that was that situation. So as y'all know, I've graduated. Let's, not, let's talk about that. Actually, no, we're not gonna get into it. So let's talk about what my career goal is, what my main career goal is to become. I'm really into forensics. I took a forensic class my um, last year of high school. But anyways, I took my forensics class and I fell in love with it because I already knew I was gonna do like something deep in the forensics area. Before I even started the class over the summer, I was watching all types of true crime, all types of, you know, videos. If you guys like that type of stuff, subscribe to Rob Gavigan. You know, he's amazing on that, like um, top tier. That's top tier, top tier, I'm telling you. If you go to his playlist and you watch his anatomy murders i think crime anatomy something like that that and serial killer files amazing but yeah i started watching those over the summer and i just got really into it so i was like okay so then i took my forensic class which was a shock to me did not know i was gonna be able to take that i took that and i really liked it so now my career goal is to be a crime lab analysis and that's basically like when you're basically in the name basically you analyze crime scene investigations basically like the materials in from the crime scene from a crime basically okay so basically i suck at describing things so here's the actual definition here of a crime lab analysis yeah 
I just really suck at describing stuff. Sorry. Yeah, so that's what I really want to do. Um, it sounds very fun. I can't wait to get into it. Like, man, that's going to be the best thing ever. But yeah, that's my career path. But I think what I've gotten done so far. Period. Okay. Uh, got depressed again. Sorry. Okay, so there has been something that is on my mind. I am scared to talk about it, but I don't really, I think I can talk about it. So I'm 18, right? And I have never been allowed to date anyone. And I still am not. Can't have friends either, to be honest. We're gonna be honest. Can't hang out with none of my friends. That sounds weird, but it's my reality. So what are y'all's thoughts and opinions on that? I've never done anything horrific in my life to not be able to do that. I just really think it's unfair. And I would like to know y'all's thoughts and opinions on that. And like, I'm very mature. And it's just the fact that I've just graduated. I thought everything would get better after I graduated, but ding dong, you idiot. It's not, and it didn't, and it didn't get better. You really thought it would get better. And it didn't. But yeah, what are y'all's thoughts on that? I just can't. I can't. I can't, honestly. All right, so another uh, sweet topic is gonna be depression and anxiety. Crazy, we're gonna piggyback off of that, you know what I'm saying? So I've always wanted to make a video on my channel targeted strictly to that, like a sit down video, but I was just like, no, nobody's gonna watch that. Since we're doing a twist and talk, might as well. I used to struggle with depression and anxiety, but um, having a job and working on my relationship with Christ has really um, helped me get over that battle for a little bit. It's not like that type of thing just goes away immediately. I've been dealing with it for two to three years maybe, but um, it's gotten so much better, like so much better. I think it's pretty much gone, but it does, like you know, regular sadness does just pick back up on you and just slap you out of the face of nowhere. With the whole Black Lives Matter, everything that's been going on, all the killings and everything, um, I, it, it did for a second have me seep back into that depression for a second and just not want to even be here because this stuff could literally happen to happen to me and it just really scared me for a second. I cried multiple times about it and it's just like there's nobody cares about my life that type of stuff. That's what I was thinking in my brain but that's the type of stuff that you have to fight. Those type of voices that you have to fight for sure because it's definitely not true. Yeah, that's that was my battle with it, but my sister helped me through it because she, you know, was very encouraging. She said something very sweet. I'll post it there, I think. I might post it up here if I might not. And although everybody's power is limited, everybody is trying to do something. The whole entire world, like you gotta realize that the whole world is fighting for you to be able to drive and get stopped by the police and everything will be okay for me, for Jadon, for dad, for all black people. Like, it, it'll eventually come a point where we won't be scared. But that's where the faith in God and trusting that this will all be over eventually. If it correlates, but yeah, yeah she helped me through that, helped me get out of that really quickly and I know a lot of people don't have that type of support system, but if you want to talk ever, just talk to me. And yeah, just DM me on Instagram and that's where I will definitely see it. So just DM me on Instagram and I'll definitely get back to you. We can talk about it because I get it. I 100% get it. I have so many different dark thoughts and I think I'll make a video video about it um, sometime in the future. But yeah, that's, that's my whole thing, but I, you know, you just gotta really ignore those thoughts because they're gonna come and it's just, you gotta ignore it because it's not God speaking to you. It's just your inner thoughts 
because you can't say it's the enemy because the Bible says that the enemy can't get into your head. You can't get into your head if you're if you have the Holy Spirit in you, and I know I do, and I'm sure a lot of believers do too. If you believe in His Word, then you have His Spirit in you, and He will not let any of the enemy's thoughts get into you. So it's like you just have to ignore your own voices. For me, I overthink a lot of issues, and that coincides for me thinking about that I don't matter, all this type of stuff. So like you gotta ignore it. Especially for me, if you overthink a lot, I am a strong overthinker. Um, you just have to ignore those voices. That's where it stems from, for me at least. But yeah, that was my little issue, you know. Short little TED talk. Now I'm be quiet, so I don't waste a lot of your time. We're gonna we're gonna finish this head up, okay? <laughs> Also, I decided to combine this lock up front. This one right here is getting very, very thin. We have to go ahead and combine that. So this is what we looking like. We love a nappy queen. Thank you guys for coming to my first ever twist and talk. Um, YouTube video. Hopefully I get to do more of these and by get to do, hopefully I decide to do more of these because it was very fun. Thoroughly enjoyed myself talking to you guys about these topics. Hopefully you guys respond back in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I'm a very chatty type person. I like to talk about a lot of stuff. So if you want to DM me, then definitely feel free to do that. That's all I pretty much have to say. Here's this retwist guys. I don't know if y'all want me to show you results at the end. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this video, but if you do wanna see results and just like after all these twist and talk videos, just let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below any other suggestions that you may have. Thank you guys so much for watching. And...